A Lit in Ten Reading with Lisa M. Kendrick, poems by William Blake and Robert Burns. And please, forgive my mistakes of trying to read Robert Burns correctly. Little lamb, who made thee? Dost thou know who made thee? Gave thee life and bids thee feed by the stream and o'er the mead. Gave thee clothing of delight, softest clothing, woolly, bright. Gave thee such a tender voice, making all the vales rejoice. Little lamb, who made thee? Dost thou know who made thee? Little lamb, I'll tell thee, little lamb, I'll tell thee. He is called by thy name, for he calls himself a lamb. He is meek and he is mild. He became a little child. I a child and thou a lamb. We are called by his name. Little lamb, God bless thee. Little lamb, God bless thee. When my mother died, I was very young, and my father sold me while yet my tongue could scarcely cry. Weep, 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 weep. So your chimneys I sweep, and in soot I sleep. There's little Tom Dacker, who cried when his head that curled like a lamb's back was shaved. So I said, Hush, Tom, never mind it, for when your head's bare, you know that the soot cannot spoil your white hair. And so he was quiet, and that very night, as Tom was a-sleeping, he had such a sight, that thousands of sweepers, Dick, Joe, Ned, and Jack, were all of them locked up in coffins of black. And by came an angel who had a bright key, and he opened the coffins and set them all free. Then down a green plain, leaping and laughing they run, and wash in a river, and shine in the sun. Then naked and white, all their bags left behind, they rise upon clouds and sport in the wind. And the angel told Tom if he'd be a good boy, he'd have God for his father and never want joy. And so Tom awoke, and we rose in the dark and got with our bags and our brushes to work. Though the morning was cold, Tom was happy and warm. So if all do their duty, they need not fear harm. Father, father, where are you going? Oh, do not walk so fast. Speak, father, speak to your little boy, or else I shall be lost. The night was dark, no father was there. The child was wet with dew. The mire was deep, and the child did weep, and away the vapor flew. The little boy lost in the lonely fin, led by the wandering light, began to cry, but God, ever nigh, appeared like his father in white. He kissed the child and by the hand led, and to his mother brought, who in sorrow pale, through the lonely dale, her little boy weeping sought. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night, what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? In what distant deeps or skies burnt the fire of thine eyes? On what wings dare he aspire? What the hand dare seize the fire? And what shoulder and what art could twist the sinews of thy heart? And when thy heart began to beat, what dread hand and what dread feet? What the hammer, what the chain, in what furnace was thy brain? What the anvil, what dread grasp dare its deadly terrors clasp? And when the stars threw down their spears and watered heaven with their tears, did he smile his work to see? Did he who made the lamb make thee? Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night, what immortal hand or eye dare frame thy fearful symmetry? A little black thing among the snow, crying, weep, weep, in notes of woe. Where are thy father and mother, say? They are both gone up to the church to pray. Because I was happy upon the heath and smiled among the winter's snow, they clothed me in the clothes of death and taught me to sing the notes of woe. And because I am happy and dance and sing, they think they have done me no injury and are gone to praise God and his priest and king who make up a heaven of our misery. 
We sleek it, cowrin, timorous beastie, O oh, what panics in thy breastie! Thou need not stop to waste so a hasty with bickerin' brattle, I would be laid to ruin and chase thee with wanderin' prattle. I'm truly sorry man's dominion has broken nature's social union and justifies that ill opinion which makes thee startle at me, thy poor earth-born companion and fellow mortal. I doubt not wiles, but thou may thieve. What then, poor beastie, thou mon live? And Dameniker in a thrave, sis a sma request. I'll get a blessing with the love and never miss it. Thy wee housey too in ruin. It's silly what the winds are strewin', and nothing now to big a new a nay. O oh, foggish green and bleak December winds ensuin', baith snell and keen. Thou saw the field laid barren and waste, and weary winter coming fast, and cosy here beneath the blast. Thou thought to dwell, till crash the cruel coulter passed up through thy cell. That wee bit heap o' leaves and stibble has cost thee money a weary nibble. Now thou'st turned out for thy trouble, but house or hauled to thaw thy winter's leery dribble and crunchin cold. But mousy thou are no thy lane, in proving foresight may be vain. The best laid schemes, O mice and men, gang aft agly, and lean not but grief and pain for promised joy. Still thou art blessed, compared with me, the present only toucheth thee. But och, I backward cast my eye on prospects drear, and forward though I cannot see, I guess and fear." Ha! Where you going, you crawling fairly? Your impudence protects you sairly, I cannot say, but ye strunt rarely. Our galls in lace, though fate thy fear, ye dine but sparely on such a place. Ye ugly, creeping, blasted werner, detested, shunned by sant and sinner, how dare ye set your fit upon her? So fine a lady, ye somewhere else and seek your dinner on some poor body. Swift in some beggar's hoffet squattle, there ye may creep and sprawl and sprattle, whither kindred jumping cattle in shoals and nations, where horn nor bane ne'er dear unsettle your thick plantations. Now hand ye there, ye're out of sight, below the fatral snug and right. Now faith ye yet, ye'll not be right till ye've got it on it, the vera topmost tower and height o' Mrs. Bonnet. My sooth writes bold, ye set your nose out as plump and grey as ony groset over oh, some rank mercurial roset or fell red smedum. I'd gi ye sick a hearty doset, what dress your drodum. I would not been surprised to spy you on an old wife's flannen toy or ablin some bit duddy boy on's wild coat. But Miss Fine's Lunard fie, how dare ye do it? Oh, Jenny, did not toss your head and set your beauties a bread. Ye little kin, what cursed speed the blast is making. The winks and fingerins I dread are notice taken. Oh, wad some power the gifty give us to see ourselves as others see us. It wad frae money a blunder free us and foolish notion. What airs in dress and gait would leave us and even in devotion. Thanks for stopping by. Nothing enhances cognitive abilities, increases vocabulary, or expands horizons more than reading. Be sure to check out my other videos in this Lit in 10 discussion series.